I think he can, Todd. There's nothing we've thrown at him that's phased him up to this point. We'll see in the next 90 seconds if he can master it. Those kegs, 50 pounds each, and they're going up and over that 13-foot wall. I like his explosive power. No extra swing, just set it and blast it up and over. And he's clearing the 13-foot mark, Cavs, with relative ease. That's right, Todd. The question here is whether he can continue that kind of technique from a stationary position to high explosion in a matter of a millisecond. Well, eight kegs in under 40 seconds. That is very impressive. And the ninth one just comes back. 45 seconds to go. But he has plenty of time. I don't know if that was luck or if he's running out of gas. Well, you're starting to see fatigue there, Kaz. That last one had no shot of getting over. Change in technique, a little bit of a swing, but he's just out of power. He doesn't have that explosive burst anymore, Kaz. What do you do? Do you like that he's changing techniques here? Now he's trying a bit of everything to go back to the old technique, which seems to be working. So with less than 15 seconds to go, can he get the 10th keg over? There's a reason the athletes use momentum and swing the barrel. It makes it a whole lot easier. And Mark Westby just runs out of time, but a very impressive performance by the rookie. He's credited with nine kegs in 90 seconds. Westby looked great through the first eight kegs, but the last two took a toll on him, and he was only able to clear nine kegs. Next up will be the American Carl Gillingham. Now he is in fifth place after four events and desperately needs a good showing here to stay in the hunt, Kaz. And Carl has been around long enough to know only the top two move on to the final. He's got to make a huge performance here. Carl's battled a lot of injuries in his career. And right now, he doesn't like he's hurting at all. It's the barrels that are taking a flight. Gillingham certainly understand the magnitude of the moment here. He needs a win here and some help if he's got any shot of getting to the final. Right now, fifth place in the group. And with the top two moving on, and he is flying through this rack. Awesome technique. Not even moving his feet. Flawless form. Oh, he just stumbles on the 10th and final keg. This is really going to hurt him. The frustration must just be incredible. It was perfect until this 10th barrel. And he gets it over. Gillingham visibly frustrated. He knew he could have shaved 10 or 15 seconds off that time. Well, as Bill pointed out, the first nine kegs flew over the 13-foot wall. It was the 10th one, however, that cost him all that time. 